How to make a photo grid using Photoshop. First, you must prepare. Select your programs that you're going to use. You'll need Photoshop or Adobe Photoshop Editor, FileZilla or CyberDoc, Text Wrangler, and iPhoto. Second step, open iPhoto. Select your images that you want to use and then drag them to your desktop. So here I will select a few images that I want to use for my photo grid and have them available on my desktop. Step three, open Photoshop. Select a new file, give it a title name, name it JPG, and make sure it's in lowercase letters. I'm gonna put mine 8.5 by eight inches, but you can choose what you want. And then make sure it's in 72 resolution to give it a good quality. So I'll open Photoshop, I'm gonna use Elements Editor, File, New, Blank File, I'll save it as graph layout onejpg and my width, height, and resolution are all set. Step four, you wanna put the grid settings on. So you go to the help bar, turn on your grid settings, resize your photos to what you want, and then fix them. So we'll go into help, type grid, just click on it, and it appears. And then we will drag the photos you wanna use into Photoshop. We want to make this its, its own layer, so we'll double click on that picture on the side and then put Graffiti 1. That allows us basically to resize it. Once I have that smaller, I'll click OK and the check mark and drag it into my photo grid, or then I can basically put it to the size I want, and then I'll apply the rest of the photos the same way. Step five, save as a JPEG to your desktop, and don't forget it. Go into file, save as, and it's already saved to desktop. We want to save it as a JPEG. Step six, open CyberDuck and then drag your photos to the images folder within your page. So I open CyberDuck, I open my file of road trip. Within my images, I drag over my JPEG and now it is saved in my file. Step seven, edit your page in Text Wrangler. Type in your code along with your image name. And this is the code on the bottom. So within CyberDuck, I'll open up my web page, edit, and then where my images are going to be held, I basically just put in that graffiti layout one JPEG. Step eight, make sure your file path is correct, that your JPG name is the same one saved in your images folder. You saved it on Text Wrangler and you refreshed your CyberDuck. Last step, your final product. Go to your site and test it out. When I go to my page, I go to Photos, which is where I put the grid, and there it is. Now you try it yourself.